let's continue the compare between the two scope uh, this time with a lot faster signal coming out of the gps it's a 10 megahertz square uh, you have to use a bnc to have good signal not to have any echo this is with a 50 ohm attenuator at the end um, first off uh, you could zoom a little bit on this thing um, maximum zoom is five nanoseconds so it's not far from the limit of the of the, uh, the scope uh, let's measure the frequency let's verify 10 megahertz all right we need to have a complete cycle to be able to verify this you can also activate the um, uh, the feature on the uh, bottom display so let's activate all that uh, period, frequency, rise time, fall time, and width of the uh, of the top. So you could uh, clear one of those. Let's clear the item number one. Let's put the width of the bottom. Uh, but it's easier to uh, to do anything with that. It's very simple. Uh, you could activate the statistics on those, so it gives you a display uh, like that. Once you got the display, you could uh, play with uh, um, history. You could activate a table. Let's activate a table and now it will give you the current value of all of those. And if you wish to, you could change this into uh, graphics. However, graphics sometimes it's not so meaningful. So you could delete some of those graphics it's clear it's clear on number five number four number three so we keep only those two and uh, now the graphics makes more sense let's go back um, to the uh, graphics history Let's get rid of the history. Turn that into a table. It's more easier to play with. Turn history off. Um, now we got only two cursor. Falling 1.7 and rising 2.3. 1.7. This is only a 100 megahertz scope. So it's, something is fishy over here. So let's explore that. Uh, let's look at the uh, size of the font so you could increase the font let's say we go for a larger now we have five display on the bottom if we go to large we could have three if we go to extra large we could have three uh, value display um, once you got that you could also activate the cursor uh, what's the fun with the cursor? Instead of doing manual, you could do auto. And if you have uh, many item up to the five, the bottom, then you could pick the one that you correspond to the measuring. So this one is rise. This one is the fall. Sorry. Let's move to the fall. So the fall. Or the rise or any other that is active right now we got only two but basically use you, you simply pick the one that you are interested in um, there is a window uh, this uh, we got two we got three rise and two fall on the display you could select the one that you, uh, you take care in settings uh, no, in window, setting, where is it, range, screen, right now it select anything on the screen, you pick one of those, but you could force it to be in, in some place with those two cursors, so the cursor appear when you move it, so I say I want to have the fall, but not the first one, 
the second one. And now it picks the one that you you selected. Uh, same thing for the uh, for the uh, fall if you or the rise. So if I move back to the other cursor, display the rise. I pick the rise. So the rise is there. But if I want to move it, not on this one. I could pick the first one, so you move the window slowly to the right, as long as it's on the display, now it picks the one here. So you force to see it where you want. Uh, let's go to the uh, fall only, let's change the trigger to fall trigger so we could have only the lower part um, the fall 1.7 nanosecond I don't I don't believe this so let's zoom on that um, cursor quick let's go to quick one this is the, the fall 1.4 I don't I don't believe that so something is weird uh, let's go to measure uh, let's change the font a little bit or see if we could change so there is history we got that uh, extra large let's go to normal well keep it extra large we got we got enough space setting and how the uh, from the manufacturing they, they set the min and max to 80 and 20 percent so the the normal standard is something more like 90 percent of the amplitude of the signal and to, instead of 20 move that to 10 and so now we measure the falling edge and the rising edge between those two and now we got something more like 2.1 that makes more sense let's change a little bit the way it's diff it's a uh, shown reset statistics so let's start again and you could see the average 2.1 and you could see instead of difference you could activate the minimum and maximum so 2.1 for a 100 uh, megahertz so scope make more sense to me so that is for the uh, the position let's activate the history could activate again the table or the graphics and uh, now you could trace the graphics and you will see the impact of your selection over here so that's uh, that's quite fun let's compare now the the new scope